Podcasters, we just got some of the biggest news in a while. The manga is coming. Hello and welcome, my name is Tremantic, and today we are going to be talking about the news that we got just a little bit ago about the MetaZoo Games manga. So we're going to go over the announcement that Andy put up in the Discord, and then I'm going to go over all of the known and details that I know so far, which is not much, but really, really exciting stuff. So if you remember, a couple months ago they introduced us to Rock, um, a dedicated manga artist that they hired to work on the MetaZoo Games manga. Well, Andy came to the out today in the Discord, and uh, he said, it's coming. Featuring hundreds of cryptids, the MetaZoo Games manga is the first of its kind as it dives deeply into North American folklore, heritage, and tradition in ways that have never been seen before. Starting this Friday, 11-10-2023, the MetaZoo Games manga will follow a weekly, bi-weekly release schedule available on many different online platforms, soon to be announced, as well as a special edition physical copies through a well-known publisher. Stay tuned, casters, the journey is only beginning. Now, the really cool thing is that they actually released the schedule of when we should be getting the different issues and some of the titles I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for. Uh, we start out with uh, the first one, like I said, coming out this coming Friday, 11.10, and it's called The Shattering of the Veil. But looking through the list of the actual names, I'm assuming that the first couple issues are actually going to be the storyline that we got from the comics. Because if you actually look at some of the titles, uh, issue chapter number two says The Rainbow Wizard. Chapter 3 is Escape from Unity City. Uh, chapter 4, The Battle of Loveland Castle. Chapter 5, Power Unlocked. Chapter 6, The Crosswick Monster. And Chapter 7, The Incredibly Amazing Effective Training Gizmo, Box 9001, P9001 for short, patent pending. Now, at least those first six uh, titles, they scream the original comics. And to be honest with you, I'm so excited to actually have visuals along with the actual storyline that we had. Because the original comics, if you are familiar with them, they're more kind of similar to light novels, um, if you know what a light novel is. And so they don't have many, many pictures. They have very few pictures, but it is a lot of story. And I know some people actually are good with just reading a book. Others actually love the visuals. The visuals help them figure out exactly what is going on. So having those visuals will help people have a better understanding of exactly what the story is. But again, those first six titles right there, they scream the OG comics. I mean, that's everything from Sam in uh, Point Pleasant, going to Unity City, meeting the Rainbow Wizard, escaping from the Rainbow Wizard, going to Loveland Castle, fighting the Veil vale Golem Mothman that's actually there, and then actually going out and fighting Orange Eyes, who is contracting the Crosswick monster. So I want to say that those first six, at least, are going to be the known story that we know of, most likely with changes, because Mike has hinted at that, uh, with the interview with me and other interviews that he's done as well. Now, just going through the rest of the titles, because some of them have really cool names, uh, chapter 8 is Pumpkin Parade, chapter 9, The Cincinnati Convoy, chapter 10 is The Bedside Council, 11, Out of the Fire and Into the Piazza Bird, uh, chapter 12, The Trixie Goblins, 13, The Land Between the Lakes, chapter 14 is The Howling Cave and the Blood-Soaked Wine, chapter 15, New Year, chapter 16, New Beginnings, I love that little tidbit right there. Uh, chapter 17, it says it is a one-shot. It's Devil's Tower and the De Dreadnoughts. Chapter 18 is The Sand Riders. 19, The Ghost Train's Red Ticket. And 20 is Hellhounds and the Saltpeter Caves. Now, going and looking at the actual dates, too, we have the first one, of course, which is going to be this Friday, 11-10, but they have release dates all the way up until July 26th of 2024. Andy didn't want to give away all of the information with the announcement today. In chat, he was actually talking about how there are plans of them releasing a trade paperback version of it or a hard uh, physical copy of the different mangas, but that's not going to be until well into 2024. I would imagine there would probably be some sort of a box of uh, packs or maybe a promo or something like that that would actually come with the manga, similar to what they did with the original comics, but that's all speculation. We didn't get any sort of information or update about that. Uh, all we got really today was just the release dates and the titles for all of the different issues. I, of course, plan on taking the manga issues and turning them into videos just like I did with the original comics. If you want to see an example of what that's going to be like, I do have a reel on Instagram with the one panel that actually showed injury when he first uh, appeared in Point Pleasant in the 60s. If you want to go and check that out, I'll leave a link down below in the description. But that's the idea, that's the style of how I'm going to actually do these manga issues. I cannot wait to give you the story along with the visuals. The example of the chapter one 
the cover as well too I, I, I geeked out about when I saw it it is a throwback to the original that you can actually see back there on my wall uh, but it is different as well too there's more of a focus point on Rose and Adam other beasties that we hadn't seen before inside of the the original comic as well so I'm really excited to see some of the smaller changes and even some of the bigger changes that Mike did to the overall story from the first iteration of the original comics to the manga and to the book as well too talking about the book real quick I, we have no sort of update on when the book actually will come out as well I would anticipate it probably being sometime maybe mid 2024 now just because of the manga releases I personally support them actually doing the manga instead of the book first because like we were talking in the last MetaZoo Hour with Mike, the manga will actually be an easier way for them to transition to a TV show which should be and is the ultimate goal I believe. A TV show, especially if it came out on something like Netflix, would have such a huge viewing population that I believe that is still the end goal and again the manga is the easiest way to translate from that to a TV show. So hopefully the book will come out sometime, uh, like I said, mid 2024 at the latest is what I'm thinking. Um, the other interesting thing though, and the reason I brought up the book is I'm curious if the manga titles, the manga chapters are the chapters for the book. Because if that's the case, then that means that we'll actually learn about Ben B in the ninth issue. Because Mike had said that a while ago, actually, in one of the MetaZoo, uh, MetaZoo hours, that Ben B made his first appearance in chapter nine of the book. And I know a ton of people have questions about Ben B because he kind of just popped up. And he was also on this uh, last week's uh, Collecticon promo from Houston. You actually had Rose, Ben, and Sam. So I know a lot of people are wondering who's Ben B. Looks like we're, we might be able to actually figure it out come February 25th. That's the release date for chapter nine of the manga. So that's pretty much all I have for you today. Uh, there wasn't a lot of information, but it was good information that we actually got. I love the fact that they actually gave us a full release schedule uh, for the, the upcoming manga all the way up until July of next year. That's awesome. I love it. Keep it coming. Um, expect, like I said, those manga videos to be put up as soon as I actually get a chance to, uh, to sit down and make them once they're released. We don't know an actual time that the manga will be released each Friday. I would assume that most likely it's going to be a specific time every Friday that they'll follow. If I had to make a guess, I would say probably like maybe noon Eastern time, but we don't know. Uh, but again, stick around, uh, check out the OG comic videos that I've done. Like I said, go and check out the sample that I did for the MetaZoo manga uh, videos that I want to make on Instagram as well, that reel. I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited that there's a lot of lore focused content now and like let's go but with this the whole channel being lore centric to metazoo this is probably the biggest announcement that I've, I've seen all year just because like we have the story the story is coming and again with the investment in the characters the investment in the cryptids the beasties the universe that mike has has created it will bring longevity to the franchise and i cannot wait to actually see what the full MetaZoo story for Cryptid Nation is. My name is Tremantic though. Thank you so much for actually checking out the video. Make sure to follow the channel if you want more MetaZoo news and lore, because that's all I pretty much do here on the channel is break down MetaZoo lore. And I cannot wait for this manga to be released so everybody else can get as excited as I am for the MetaZoo story. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're most excited about when it comes to the manga. Let me know what one of the titles actually caught your eye. But until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.